How Did I Do Academy is here to educate you on golf. Quick and easy wins to get better at golf. My name is Sophie Walker and we spoke in the past about not changing your golf swing, but getting better at golf or more comfortable on the golf course. And in that video, which I suggest you go have a little look at, little free wins, is golf grips. I suggested that you change your golf grips at the start of the season because your hands are the only thing that touches the golf club. You're spending 500 quid on a driver. That might have been a couple of years ago. You're looking down and your grip is worn. If you get new grips for the season, you can start afresh feeling good about yourself. So you've agreed to change grips. Now we're going to look at styles of grips which will suit you and get you more comfortable on the golf course. Manufacturers make it easier for us to help with selection of drivers. There's normally three models to choose from. Golf Pride have gone with a formation of 442. Like football, it makes it a lot easier for us to remember and help us decide which style of grip is best for our game. So let's start with the four. We've got size, condition, surface, stroke, texture, and firmness. I like to think of this as if you are a bat and ball player in general or a racket sportsman. At the beginning of the year, the cricket season, you might get your bat re-gripped. The same with a tennis racket. Then you're thinking, how many layers of tape do I need? So that's obviously the size. Then you've got how it feels in your hands. Do you like a soft or a firm grip? And the types of condition that you play in. So if you're playing in hot countries, you might have a grip with a little bit more texture to it to help you keep hold of the club. Think of it like any other sport. If you've got a handle, it needs re-gripping and these grips are going to help with your style and what you like to hold when swinging a golf club. So the back four is the considerations. We've spoken about the four considerations. And then midfield is the types of grips on offer, which I have here from Golf Pride. First one is the Tour Velvet. It's the one that I've used on tour for my entire life. The next one is new to the range over the last couple of years. It's a CPX, it's tacky. Feels like a mattress, something that I've not really come across before. So that's a new one. Next up is the multi compound, which has got cording at the top, which is where the glove hand is. And then at the bottom where the non glove hand sits, it's a, a lot softer on that skin. And then finally is the full cord, the Z grip. So the cord transfers all the way down the grip length. Me personally, it rips my hands to pieces. But if you struggle with the grip and sometimes it moves in your hands or you feel like it does, these could be for you. And the two up top, the strikers, are the technology on offer in these grips. We've got the Align, which for those of you who are old school, it's the reminder. Here we can see it highlighted in red. So when you grip the club, it reminds you what square is that runs through the back of this grip through your hand. So it's just a slightly different feeling than a normal round grip. And the second piece of technology on offer is the plus four. This makes the lower part of the grip thicker. So the grip feels more of one size. There still is a slight taper in though, and it encourages grip pressure to be slightly lighter, especially on the bottom hand. So you need to consider size and conditions. Then the next step is the texture that you want in your hands from the grip. And finally, the technology. I'm going to head into the pro shop at Denton Golf Club to speak to James to talk about the grips and to re-grip a few of my clubs to see how they perform on the golf course. Remember, these are all available in your pro shops. There is a chart, the pro knows all about them, so you can get some advice. I'm going to play a few holes at Denton Golf Club with my newly re-gripped clubs. I've got the six styles of grips on my golf clubs. I'm going to talk to you about scenarios and why you might want to use one grip over another and even in your whole set of clubs, maybe mix those grips up. First up, the plus four. Now remember, this is the grip which is thicker at the bottom, not quite as tapered. With small hands, it's probably not going to be for me. So. Think about that, what's your glove size? I'm a ladies medium to large. If you are a gent large, this could be a grip that you might look to, to use. Also, if you feel like you strangled the golf club to the point that it twists, 
this could be for you also. When we look at the likes of Brighton, when he had that jumbo grip, he said it was the anti-left shot. It stopped me flipping it. This isn't going to do that. They aren't that thick, but compared to my usual, which are undersized grips, it does feel thick. That's why I put it on a hybrid, which is a power club rather than a wedge, which is a field club. Moving on to the Align, I've still got it in a hybrid. Now, an important aspect of this grip is that your Pro puts it on straight because if it sits wrong, it's not gonna go in your fingers. So with a regular Golf Pride grip, you could have the Golf Pride round the other side. You could have it slightly twisted. It'd be okay as such. It might just look annoying because the line there or the Golf Pride isn't perfectly in line when looking down on it. But with the Align at the back, this needs to be put on square. When we talk about square, that's club face square. That's gonna help you when you grip it and you look down on it, the club is square and you can feel it in the, in, certainly in your fingers, in your non-glove hand. You can feel it in your fingers and you can feel that line running up there in your glove hand. I used to play these all the time on tour. I really like them. It had a security in my mind that I'd got my grip right. Once I got my grip right, I could move on. Because as a kid, my grip wasn't as good as it could have been. It was quite strong. That's because I used to play with adult clubs, adult grips. So I was always holding it like this. The grips were too big for me. Nowadays, obviously I've grown ever so slightly, but the grips can be made smaller. But if you are getting the Align, it's gonna help you set your grip in the right spot, but you must have this grip put on square. A quick tip, if you are changing the style of your grip, be it the size or the texture, try and do it before you go to competitions, a week or so before, and at least go and hit a few golf balls at the driving range to get the feel of it, because that difference could put you off. It may be a benefit in the long run, but it'll put you off for that first medal or important round of golf. So get them re-gripped early so you can get used to them. Now moving into what you like to feel or why you might need a grip like this. So the CPX is softer. You see it's got the padding around it and it's tackier. So if you have sweaty, clammy hands, you play in hot conditions like Manchester or not. But if you are playing in humid conditions, these could be good for you. I can definitely feel the tackiness. So if your hands feel like they move around on the golf club, or if you want the softer feel when you grip, so you can have a firm grip or a soft feeling grip. I remember there used to be a thing when we were kids and how you put a tennis grip on your putter grip because it was a softer tape rather than a firm grip. It's real perceptions. I can imagine a lot of people would walk into the pro shop and go, hey, that feels, that feels a lot different to what I'm used to. Me personally, I like a, a slightly softer grip because my hands get ripped to pieces on multi-compound. I did used to practice a lot. So when I did practice a lot, it would really rip my hands to pieces and the sustainability isn't as good. So remember that on a softer grip, your sustainability won't be as good as on a full corded grip. It's not gonna be as used to the wear and tear as much. The cord keeps it, its grip for longer. So something like my Tour Velvet, which I'll talk about, I could change a couple of times a year. So I've got a six iron, slightly into the breeze, left to right. I'm just gonna start at left edge of the green and try and fade it back into that flag. Now, speaking of full corded grips, the Z grip is just that. It's got a rougher feel to it. So that's where you gain the grip. It's not the tackiness like in the other one. These are ideal if you don't want to change your grips a lot. You, um, well, aren't a hardcore practicer. And if you are, you need hands full of calluses pretty much. You've got the, to have Alex Noren style hands to be able to cope with these over a long period of practice. But if you want a sustainability and you want a firmer grip, 
then th these are these are great for you. When you first pick them up, you can actually feel the firmness in them rather than the softness. And it almost feels like your hands get locked on this grip because of the roughness to it. So I've got another six iron. I'm just going to try and the same type of shot. I said early in the video that you might want to look at different grips for different clubs. Now, in terms of the technology, I think this is an important aspect. If you have an align in your wedges, imagine trying to open the grip up. Suddenly the align sits the wrong side of the grip and it's going to feel quite awkward. Equally, if you have one of the plus fours, what happens when you start gripping down on it? You want to get by the shaft, you want the tapering and it's not there. So for field shots, I, well, I'm always a tall velvet player, but I like a softer grip, a tapered grip, so you can change where you grip on the, on the shaft, both up and down the grip and get better feedback. So here I've got the tall velvet and I'm going to hit a few right away. It's like, oh, that feels so good. The feedback I'm going to get from this. Now, as I said previously, tall velvets, they wear more. Can tell you what the ball's doing without even looking at it because of the feedback that comes through the shaft up through the grip. So it's worth thinking about putting in one of these style of grips in the short game and if you do need the technology maybe put it in the long game. I spoke about having different grips in the golf bag. If you want to keep the same grip through the golf bag a hybrid one is a great choice. In this case, it's the multi-compound. So your glove hand, you've got the cord. So that's the security. The glove hand is the one that sits on the grip and the non-glove hand is the one that kind of is along for the ride. And that's how you can do your manipulation. But you really need a security in the glove hand. And that's where the cord being at the top can help you. And then your non-glove hand can get that feel. So a multi-compound, can be used throughout the bag if you want to keep that same grip from top to bottom. It's also good in all weathers. It's the hybrid grip. It's the best of both worlds. Now, if you chip with a glove on, I suppose a multi-compound is fine. If you do take your glove off, then the feel does start to change a little bit because remember, we've got cord on top and then we've got a little bit of softness at the bottom. Feel-wise, not quite as good as a Tor Velvet, but in terms of durability, a lot better. Versatility, well, it's great. You can use it throughout your golf clubs. Here at How Did I Do Academy, I've told you how to grip a golf club. I've now explained the benefits of not only looking after your grips, but what styles might suit you as a player. We're here to make golf easier and getting the right grip for you makes you more comfortable when holding the golf club. So we can have power, finesse, and also size. It's really, really important, the grip, in the sense that this is the only thing that connects you with the golf club. So make sure you keep an eye out for the durability of them. Please change them if they're breaking and they're slimy. I can guarantee you'll feel better about your game hopefully shoot some better scores without changing your golf swing. For more information, head to see your local pro, walk in and ask for the 442 formation with Golf Pride and they'll help you decide which grip is best for your game. Thanks for watching this video. Keep supporting the Academy by subscribing and liking our channel. And I'll see you all again soon. Ha!